Snow and slippery roads across Wisconsin. We'll take a look at snow totals and what you can expect for the rest of the day. Plus, road crews share some tips on how drivers can stay safe. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Our weather alert day continues this afternoon. Heavy wet snow is still causing major problems for drivers all across southern Wisconsin. We've seen many cars getting stuck in the roads. This was the scene at the I-3990-94 interchange just about an hour ago. You can see a jackknife semi that slid off the road. At one point, another semi got stuck behind this one, but the area has now been cleared. Let's take a live look at road conditions out in our area. Arta Hill Muldeen is live. To heal, what are you seeing out there? Mark, good afternoon. Right now we are headed south on Park Street, and while it's not the chaos that we saw earlier this morning, there is still a lot of work to be done for these snow plows. Uh, we have we have seen. Uh, a few of those snow plows on the roads are already focusing on those major streets. And when it comes to those side streets, not much has been done. Uh, the roads are still very slick, even those ones that have been paved. So you want to keep a good follow distance. And that's about eight seconds when it's snow. So pretty much anyone in Wisconsin will tell you when there's snow on the roads, that means snow equals slow. Uh, back to you, Mark. You know, the cleanup will begin shortly. Thank you. All the snow coming down has created lots of difficulties for people trying to get to work this morning. That means AAA getting lots of calls. Our Catherine Merck spoke to them about their responses this morning. And Mark, if you were anything like me this morning, there's lots of issues getting to work. Out here on Raymond Road, I saw lots of cars sliding and getting stuck and overall lots of traffic issues. Luckily, it looks clearer now as the plows look like they came by. AAA says they're going to be really busy throughout the day and is recommending that if you don't have to get on these roads, do not get on them. But if you do, here's a few words of advice. Make sure you're slowing down and taking it easy. Um, you know, speed is going to not be your friend today. Taking it slow is, is going to be good. The the greatest danger is when you start applying the brake. That's when you're going to begin slipping and sliding. So the less that you need to apply the brake or need to slam on the brake uh, and brake hard, the better. AAA says that they're going to be strategic in their responses today, meaning that they're going to target the people in more danger first and then respond to other calls. I asked about the total wait time right now if you call AAA, and the director of public affairs told me he couldn't give me an exact number, but he did say be aware that they're going to be really busy throughout the day. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now. All right, Catherine, thank you. Julian Seawright is out on the weather patio looking at snow totals. Julian, what do you have? That's right, Mark. We're watching snow totals over the last 12 hours. We've seen some significant snow totals since we've had some heavy wet snow over the last 12. But as we take a look, even just for outside, we had about five and a half inches about an hour ago. But as we take a look here, as we have our little weather stick, as of right now, we are about close to the six uh, inch mark. It's hard to see from our camera view as of right now as we're trying to get a little bit of the zoom in but it's just about the six inch mark for our patio and folks that just goes to show you about how much snow that we've seen we're still looking at some snowfall uh still falling for us as we continue throughout the rest of tonight or today but folks here's what we're seeing and snow totals throughout the rest of the wisconsin area spring green so all about seven inches middleton about five mount horb six and a half lacrosse four and richland center had seen about eight and a half inches. Now these snow totals had come from us from National Weather Service in Milwaukee and from La Crosse. And again, this is an estimation over the last 12 hours. We're going to be seeing official reports as we get into the later parts of potentially tonight or going into tomorrow once the event is fully over. But we are going to still watch for more of that light snow sticking around for us. Platteville is pretty much over, but it's going to be a cloudy one and the roads are still rather slick and slippery. For Madison, this is over in Raymond Road. We are still looking at a bit of some light snow sticking around for us, but as we look for the capital, still looking at plenty of visibility issues as we continue the rest of our afternoon. So this is what we're seeing in terms of tracking that system. It's starting to fall apart a bit as it has tracked itself to the northeast, but we are holding on to some stubborn light snow, especially just near the northern parts of Dane County and pushing itself a bit more east towards uh, northeast from Columbia County and areas towards Watertown. 
broken out over the next three hours. We are looking for it to start to fall apart a bit more, but a little bit of a resurgence just north of Lone Rock, but still it's just going to be light snow and even mixing in with some rain. Our winter weather advisory will stay in effect until about 6 p.m. for Dane County in areas to the southeast, but areas west of Lone Rock will see that winter weather advisory stick around until about 3 p.m. And just a quick look at our traffic. The good news is, is that the road conditions have improved over the last several hours. However, we are still looking at some accidents along the Beltline and some residential roads. Just a reminder to be taking it slow when you hit the road. And if you don't need to go out, definitely stay home and stay safe. We'll have more updates on the snow and our traffic coming up in a few moments, Mark. All right, Julian, thank you. Here is a wider look now at road conditions. You can see all of the major highways are snow covered and slippery. If you're headed out, be sure to take your time, drive slowly and give yourself plenty of space between cars around you. Highway 151 just north of Dickeyville in Grand County was closed this morning after another crash involving a semi. Deputies say heavy bands of snow, sleet and rain caused ice covered roads in the area. The sheriff's office says it's unclear if anyone was hurt in the crash. Deputies are warning drivers to stay off the roads if possible. As the highways and streets are cleared this afternoon, stay up to date on road conditions on our First Warn Weather Forecast app. It has hourly forecast road conditions and the latest radar. We'll also have any updates on school closings early on. Three people are dead after a house fire in Jefferson County. It happened just after 1230 last night in Watertown. Crews arrived to the house on Western Avenue and found it fully engulfed in flames. They were told the residents were still trapped inside. Crews tried to rescue them but couldn't get inside because of the smoke and intense heat. The cause of the fire still under investigation. Police are investigating after several shell casings were found in a neighborhood near Westtown Mall yesterday. Someone in the area called police after finding multiple shell casings in the 2000 block of Portage Road. No injuries were reported and there was no property damage. The investigation continues. Governor Tony Evers has announced Department of Health Services Secretary designee Karen Timberlake is leaving the position. Her last day will be January 2nd. Secretary designee Timberlake joined the administration at a pivotal time in the coronavirus pandemic, just as vaccines started being distributed. With her help, Wisconsin saw one of the most successful vaccine rollouts in the nation. Timberlake's replacement will be announced in the coming days. Brittany Griner is back on U.S. soil this morning after a nearly 10-month detention in Russia. The plane carrying her landed in San Antonio, Texas, where the WNBA star will undergo a medical evaluation and whatever treatments needed. In Griner's Houston hometown, City Hall was lit up in red, white, and blue to celebrate her homecoming. For Griner's wife, it was an, the end of a long, dark journey. It's just a happy day for me and my family, so um, I'm going to smile right now. <laughs> While the trade brought Griner home, it left behind American Paul Whelan. A former Marine has been in prison in Russia since 2018 on espionage charges. President Biden has promised to keep working on Whelan's release. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the prisoner exchange involved compromises, but that more trades are possible in the future. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon, including where the hottest housing markets are for 2023 and some welcome relief at the pump. That's coming up in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Happy holidays from our dwellings family to yours. Happy holidays. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model, his name is Richie, and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. And what I love about Plexiderm is this is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. And I did this to my father, we were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so 
excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. It's a cream, it's a topical, it literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out. All you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes, on your fine lines and wrinkles, and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical. I am not going to lie because I saw people online with it. And I'm like, yeah, right. That can't possibly work. I'm telling you, it really works. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference, I have so many dark circles. I have the puffiness. I have the lines. Like, it's amazing. You have an event. Event, you have any of those moments where you want to feel the best about yourself, I am telling you, the videos that you see on social media and TV are real. This holiday season is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Need life insurance? Select Quote found Jacob, 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Welcome to Dwellings. Shop our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. Some welcome relief at the pump. Gas prices are now lower than they were a year ago. This time last year, a gallon of regular was $3.33. Today, it's slightly below that, according to AAA. Industry watchers say we can thank slower consumer demand worldwide for the price drop. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has unveiled the first U.S. currency bearing her signature. Yellen's signature will appear alongside that of U.S. Treasurer Lynn Malerba the first Native American in that position. The new bills will begin circulating next year. And Realtor.com is out with a list of the hottest housing markets for 2023. And mid-sized cities in the South and Midwest are winning. Places like Hartford, Connecticut, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Louisville, Kentucky could become among the nation's hottest housing markets. Home sales are predicted to grow in those cities by more than 8% next year. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Dan Lieberman. Let's take a look at Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial is down 8 points. The NASDAQ, though, up 41. The S&P 500 up 4 and 4.88. After the break, we'll have today's egg prices. Plus, Julian takes a complete look at the forecast. And then today on Live at 4, Consumer Reports picks out some stocking stuffers everyone can enjoy for the holidays. That's coming up at 4. This holiday season at the Century House. Give $50 or more to charity and get $200 off any stressless recliner with power. Any stressless recliner in ottoman or any stressless office chair. Or get $200 off each stressless sofa seat or $400 off all stressless Mayfair recliners and ottomans in all Paloma leather colors. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Here's to the holidays. Here's to the casserole queens and Santa's who saute. To the turkeys brined in beer and, well, just beer. To the ones who do the most and the ones who do the least. To the classic traditions and whatever you call this one. This year, no matter how you holiday, Festival has you covered. Festival Foods, a Wisconsin tradition since 1946. Hey, thanks for working through the holidays. Clara, Dad says you're working over Christmas. Here you go, Mrs. Parson. Let me pay you. No, you're not going to pay me.
Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Keeping Gynax Now handy makes it easy to test. And self-test kits may be reimbursable with no copay through your health plan. With Binax Now, you'll have reliable results in 15 minutes with the self-test that features the same technology doctors use and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. So you can always be prepared with Binax Now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, we've got Olympic gold medalist Lindsey Bunn. I'm so glad she's here. Then find out why this cop is known as the Baby Whisperer. That is adorable. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. News 3 Now's call for action team gets results. We're taking action for you. Nearly 700 cases closed. More than a half million dollars recovered. And we're not finished yet. When you need help, call for action only on News 3 Now. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today. She'll be back on Monday. So here are your farm numbers. to the roads for another look at the current road conditions. Once again, joined by Tech. What are you seeing out there? Uh, traffic on the Beltline seems to generally be moving a lot more smoothly. You know, naturally, it's the first to get treatment by County Pals just five minutes ago. We saw them salting the roads. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, the areas you got merging into the Beltline, not as clean, so cars are still getting stuck there. In fact, we saw one just a moment ago. Outside of that, there haven't been too many uh, cars on the side of the road like we saw this morning. We have seen uh, some tow trucks hauling them down the Beltline. Now, when it comes to the side roads, it's a bit of a different story. Not much of those have been plowed quite yet, so we've seen uh, cars getting stuck there, have to reroute, turn back around, uh, and change the direction they're heading because, you know, they're not able to make it up those hills. So safe to say that uh, city workers still have a lot of work cut out for them today. Absolutely. Things look a little better, though. That's great to hear. Thank you. Let's check back now with Julian for the complete forecast. Like you said, Mark, things are starting to look a little better for us as we continue throughout the rest of our afternoon. Here's another look at our snow totals for us. We're just shy of six inches here in three at channel three. But for the rest, look at what we're seeing here. Spring Green, about seven inches of snow. Middleton, five. Mount Horb, six and a half inches. Our friends in La Crosse, four. And Richland Center had seen eight and a half inches. Now, these are estimates totals. We are still going to be looking at potentially seeing more for some areas as we continue throughout the rest of the event. But as of right now, like we said, things are starting to approve. The heavy wet snow is starting to phase out, but we are still dealing with a little bit of some light snowfall and some drizzle as we continue throughout the rest of our afternoon, which has also produced some visibility issues throughout Madison. We've seen slight improvement, but still only about a mile from Madison into the Dells and for Janesville and two and a half for Monroe. Row. So again, if you're going to be traveling along I-39 or even around the city, make sure that you're taking it slow because you, it's really hard to see what's in front of you as we continue throughout the rest of this afternoon. Now tracking where that system that was bringing in all the snow is going, well now it's pretty much pushed itself into parts of Indiana and for southern parts of Michigan. It's actually moving across Lake Michigan as of right now and it's starting to fall apart quite a bit. Here in Dane County, we are still holding on to some lingering light snow, mainly north of Madison. 
Madison, but you can see it's starting to fall apart as you continue more north on I-39. So areas around the Dells are not looking for that heavy band of snowfall as we were just about a couple hours ago. But our friends just to the east, you can see from Milwaukee, Kenosha, even to Sheboygan, we are looking at still just holding on to a bit of some of that snowfall, but it's also looking to fall apart as we continue the next three hours. We are looking for a little bit of a resurgence of some light snow, mainly for the Dells and parts of Dane County, but it's not going to be too significant as we continue throughout the rest of this afternoon. As we see as of right now, taking a closer look, the good news is our friends in the southwest which we're dealing with icy conditions have pretty much been cleared out in terms of snowfall. So as we continue throughout the next two hours or so, we're not going to be looking at much in terms of wintry weather. But outside of the snow, we have seen some ice accumulations, especially for our friends to the southwest, just south of Platteville, Apple River, and over towards Monroe. We've seen close to a tenth of an inch and even more than a tenth of an inch of ice that has accumulated, which is why the roads around uh, US 151 and even 18 have been very slippery and also slick throughout much of this morning and going into our afternoon. Taking a look at our update for the winter weather advisory areas just west of Lone Rock. We're going to be holding on to that around three until 3 p.m. We could start to see that start to fall apart uh, and potentially even expire a little bit earlier. But for us here in Dane County, we are looking for around 6 p.m. until that winter weather advisory looks to expire. So as we get into the rest of this evening, just notes it is heavy, wet snow. So we are still looking at some traffic issues later on because as we get into the once we get into tonight, we could start to see any of that snow really start to freeze for us. Transitioning into Saturday, we could see a bit of some snowfall once again starting to develop for the north. It could be bringing in some showers for us by the time we get into our Saturday afternoon. Once we get into this weekend, it's going to be quiet for Sunday and for Monday, but then we're looking for another shot of seeing some activity Monday nights going into our Tuesday and our Wednesday as well. And a quick look at our traffic once again around Madison improvements along the Beltline and for many of our residential areas, but still rather slick. So make sure that if you have to drive today, you are taking it slow and using caution. Over to you, Mark. Make sure your headlights are on too. Absolutely. All right, thank you, Julian. Here's another look at the 511 maps where you can see all of Dane County is covered in purple and blue. The purple lines mean slippery stretches with the blue line meaning snow covered. Things are slowly improving though, and we'll be right back. Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. All you have to do is point. Yes! 1-800-GOT-JUNK can make it disappear. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. Get all of your projects done with help from Menards. Mastercraft interior doors offer the best quality for the best prices. With our wide range of styles and options, you'll be sure to find something to fit your taste. Choose from our in-stock doors or design your door your way with our door designer. Mastercraft has the fastest delivery, so you get your door in approximately seven days. Same thing on Mastercraft doors at Menards. Boy, season's greetings to you all from Menards. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 800-550-5543. With dad's arthritis, he needs extra help around the house. So I called a grace. Yes, a grace. With their agent home service, he can stay at home. home. That's where I want to spend these months. <laughs> with hospice care from a grace, I can stay home with my dog and my grandkids and their laughter. <laughs> I had no idea laughter could be a part of my life again after Joe died. But through a grace, I found hope and healing. A grace, caring every step of the way. Experience does count. When you're shopping for new furniture, a mattress set, or flooring, come to the experts at McGann Furniture and Flooring in Baraboo. Our experienced staff is well-trained in home decorating and will answer all your questions so you can buy with confidence. You'll find big city selection and an enjoyable shopping experience. 
And remember, we don't raise prices only to lower them later for a sale. Come see the difference experience can make at McGann Furniture and Flooring, downtown Baraboo. All you have to do is point. Yes! 1-800-GOT-JUNK can make it disappear. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.com. The other day after lunch, we were all craving freshly baked cookies. Fortunately for us, that's a perk of working in the test kitchen. At most jobs, you can't just stop what you're doing and whip up a batch of cookies at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. But we can, and we did. And the results were so good that we couldn't wait to share the recipe with you. So here we go. The first thing we do is combine some flour, baking soda, and cinnamon. Then, in a large bowl, we beat together some butter along with both white and brown sugar until it's creamy. To that, we add some eggs and a splash of vanilla. Now, we slowly add the flour mixture until everything comes together. Next, we stir in some quick cooking oats, dried cranberries, and a handful of walnuts. After dropping the dough by spoonfuls onto a couple of baking sheets, these cookies are ready for the oven. You'll know they're done when they puff up and are golden. And with the scent of cinnamon wafting through the house, it's practically impossible to let these cool before tasting one. To get the recipe that all of us here in the test kitchen just love, visit our website and type in oatmeal cranberry cookies. I'm Howard with Kelly. Test kitchen favorite. Where mm. today we found mm. a freshly baked way mm -hmm. for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Let's get one last look at the roads with Tahil. She's out on the highway. How's it looking? Mark, uh, this is a neighborhood here in Madison, and this is typically what most neighborhoods are going to look like around this time. A lot of snow still on the ground. Of course, these side streets are going to be the last to be piled by the city, so you really see the impact of this snowfall in these types of neighborhoods. Now, the major streets in, the Ma in Madison, you know, the Beltline as well, they've already gotten a lot of the attention of the city and county piles, so it's a lot smoother there. You know, even this street that we're heading into now, a lot smoother, uh, but, you know, still slick. You know, not the heavy piles of snow that you just saw in the neighborhood streets, but enough for you to want to be careful on the roads, maintain a good follow distance uh, for other cars. Not too many on the roads now, so that's kind of one thing you've got going for you. But when you do see those other cars, you'll want to stay about eight seconds away. That's kind of the policy when there's snow on the ground. And as always, in Wisconsin, snow equals slow. Uh, but for now, back to you, Mark. All right, Tina, thank you. Be safe out there. And here's Julian, one last look at the forecast. And just a reminder, let's rehash our winter weather advisories. As of right now, areas just west of Lone Rock. That's going to be in effect for us until 3 p.m. And for Dane County, areas to the southeast and to the north. This is going to be until 6 p.m. for us. We are still holding on to some light snowfall, but everything that we were seeing earlier, which was that heavy wet snow, has pretty much ended for us. And we're not going to be looking at that resurgence throughout the rest of this afternoon. Instead, light snowfall will be expected. It's mainly going to be for the eastern side of southern Wisconsin. We're going to be rather quiet throughout the rest of today. We may see a couple of flurries, maybe even some light drizzle. But overall, the real concern now will be whatever has fallen freezing overnight as temperatures will be flirting with the freezing point or even being at the freezing point overnight. As we transition into Saturday, we're going to be watching for another small little burst of some snow that could be developing from the northern areas and start to trickle into southern Wisconsin once again as we get into our Saturday evening. Outside of that, here's a look at our 10 day forecast. Once we're done with today, tomorrow we could see some activity and then it's quiet for Sunday and Monday, but then we're looking at a resurgence for Tuesday, Mark. All right, Julian, thank you. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you back here at four o'clock. In the meantime, have a great afternoon.